Hello again. I'm going to tie for you a couple of sea trout spider patterns. And uh, these are both very simple patterns, but uh, pretty effective for fishing during the day on uh, a variety of rivers that I've tried. The first one um, was a bit of an accident in the sense of the, uh, the dressing. I, I used to uh, fish a stretch of the Eden um, on the Lower Eden, uh, which had really big shoals of dace and chub. And uh, as always, I'd come down too early for the sea trout fishing, so to amuse myself, I focused on catching the dace just to fill in a bit of uh, time until the light level dropped to an acceptable level for night fishing. Well, I found out that dace tended to like fairly small bright flies and uh, it was a good exercise in getting the cast in hand in and so on. And then this little fly that I developed for the fishing for the dace started to catch me the odd sea trout but the most interesting thing is I was catching those sea trout still when the sun was on the water and the river was pretty clear. So uh, that in itself, as most people that fish for some time for sea trout will agree, is quite unusual. So I'll go through this very, very simple dressing. It's tied on a, on a camasan uh, B980-12. And that's exactly the, the same hook as I used to use. So I'll start off with some black tying thread. Do my usual routine of not wasting any of the thread. And hackle-wise I'm using a Whiting's black dyed hen neck. Um, any, any hen neck will actually do. It, the nice thing about the Whiting uh, hen feathers is they're particularly long, so you can often tie two or three flies from the same feather. You don't you don't want the feather to be particularly long in the fibre. And you don't want much of a hackle on this fly. So I'll remove a bit of the bum fluff that's at the bottom of the, the hackle. Ties on first. Snap off the end. Then there is a small tail, tag if you like, or uh, of neon magenta floss. That's the, that's the bluey red fluorescent colour. Now the important thing in this fly is Although I could go further down the body, I'm stopping level with the point of the hook. And this little bit of thin floss, I'm cutting it off short. That's all you need. Don't be tempted to put on a great big bushy clump there because it won't make your fly more effective, it'll make it less effective. Body-wise, it's gold, real tinsel, vineyards size 3. It's 
see those two fibers I wanted to get in the way, but never mind. And I should have cut off this magenta earlier. Never mind. So I'm going to need in future um, glasses with a bit stronger magnification because in all honesty I'm finding it quite hard to see how those turns are, are butting against each other but I hope they're all right. Do two or three turns over your real tinsel and then you should be able to just flick it back and forth a number of times. And it snaps off. That's it. So your hackle is one, two turns. There's an overwhelming temptation to put three, four, five turns on, but it doesn't improve the fly again. It makes it worse. Snap off. Pull your fibres back. And uh, I haven't brought down my whip finish tool, so I'll just finish off with three half hitches. Which everybody will tell you your fly will instantly fall apart. Well, it actually won't. When you reading books on sea trout fishing and so on and you um, from different authors some of them are amazingly dogmatic as to what fly you want what period of the night you fish this fly and what period of the night you fish that fly but I find it's best to keep an open mind I'm telling you about this particular little dressing because it works well for me and I've got loads of sea trout, grayling, chub and so on on that very simplified black and gold spider. The Kamasan specimen hook gets a decent hold and it's pretty strong wire for the size. Uh, this size 14 is probably the equivalent of size 16 in some of the Czech Nymphin hooks. Right, so I'll do the, uh, the next fly for you. Now this again is a daytime fly, um, but a, a bit larger, and I've had one or two salmon on this pattern. I say one or two, a few salmon actually. But... So the hook for that is a Kamsan B170. You know, when I was mentioning people being dogmatic about the behaviour of sea trout, the way I look upon sea trout is putting it into human terms. Supposing you've got a, a street in your town with 10 public houses in it. Not everybody is going to go to the same public house. Even if somebody has spent an absolute fortune doing it up. Sometimes the place where the paints peel in and there's a fight every weekend is still popular. And, and sea trout, because they're a, a, a creature that survived all kinds of problems to get into the river. Um, the genetics will make them spread out and go to different places and different lies and be vulnerable to different flies. Otherwise you'd find the magic pattern and virtually wipe them out. So 
If my fly patterns don't work on your river, it doesn't mean they don't work. It means that your river fish don't particularly want my patterns and that's the end of it. It's, it's not the be all and end all. So I've uh, just attached a larger black hen hackle. And I'm gonna put on a little bit of this, again, this neon magenta. So I want to, to tie it with a, a piece dangling up there. You'll see why in a minute. And this time, go to about the Uh, barb of the hook. Bend that other uh, loose end forwards. And then put a few turns at the top of each other. Now th this stuff has an annoying habit normally of uh, unless you sort of glue it down of unwrapping itself and ending up all down the bend of the hook. Because if you leave that tail and then fold the tail forwards, give it a bit of a pull, that will secure that uh, tag and it's you can make that a reasonable size there's nothing wrong with that at all Right, for the ribbon of this fly, a bit of fine quality um, oval silver tinsel. And for the body, a bit of a piece of black floss silk. Now I've tried this fly with uh, seals fur body and various black fur bodies uh, but again it doesn't make it better than the, uh, the smoother floss silk body so uh, if you want the full effectiveness uh, stick to my variation. And why did I use the uh, Neo Magenta Floss? Well, for years, um, and I mean, I'm going back to when I was fly tying at uh, 14 years old, um, fluorescent flosses for fly tying were pretty new on the market. And with limited pocket money, uh, it was the only, well, I bought that and a green one from coloured one from uh, Tom C. Savills in uh, I think it's in Nottingham a fly tying supplier so that's why I stuck with that colour and wise now three turns You can go four if you want. It doesn't with this particular daytime fly. It doesn't seem to matter if it's well, well dressed. 
I'm going to clip that because these whiting hackles sometimes are so strong that uh, you can find you can uh, barely snap them off without uh, risking the fly unraveling. So sweep it all back. Finish off with three half inches. So this is one to use during the day, cloudy conditions, uh, early evening. And if it's catching fish, keep, keep it on because sometimes you'll find it's still working at two or three o'clock in the morning. So try these two patterns, obviously in a few months time. I think you'll be pleased with them. I'll just finish off with a bit of varnish. And as usual, um, I've had a few new subscribers. Thanks very much. I hope not to let you down during the year. Usual thing, please like, subscribe. There we are anyway. Thanks very much. Bye for now.